guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are going to have some fun today making kind of like a tropical paradise type tray. And we're going to be playing with some of those little umbrellas that you put in your drinks and some wallpaper and these little doodads that I picked up from the dollar store and see what we can come up with. So the first thing that I need to do is kind of figure out what part of this wallpaper that I want in the background of my tray. And I'm just sort of moving it around to see like what leaves I kind of want to incorporate in there. And then we're going to go ahead and just kind of trace the outer edge of this mold. I'll cut it down a little bit better here in a minute, but I just want to get a basic shape and size for this so that I can have this cut out and we can go ahead and seal it really well so that I don't have any issues. I've never worked with wallpaper before and I've most definitely not used this. So I don't know if once it's in the resin, if the colors are going to bleed and fade or if it's going to get those weird kind of like watermarks that you can get on stuff where like if you put paper in it and you don't seal it first, how the resin kind of absorbs into it and makes it darker. So we want to make sure that we seal it really well. now. I kind of am leaning towards, since it's wallpaper, that it shouldn't absorb anything. But that being said, I got this from the dollar store, so I'm sure it's not the best quality of wallpaper. So there's a chance. Okay, so I got my basic shape cut out. Now I'm just going to kind of go around the inside edge of this piece that I cut and just kind of mark it and cut it out a little bit smaller so that when... I get to the point that I'm going to stick this on the background. I kind of have a better fit and it slides right in and I don't have to do anything once I've already got, you know, resin and all this other stuff into the mold. So now I'm just kind of figuring out about how many of these umbrellas that I am going to need. Now I am going to cut them down later on, but first we're going to get this Mod Podge going and so that this can start to dry. So I'm going over the wallpaper itself and these little, I don't even know what they are. I don't know if they're supposed to be like coasters or what, but these little drink things that I got just because I don't know how it's going to react. So I'm just going to go ahead and seal them. So I am putting kind of like a medium coat on it. Now I'm going to go around the edges of these. It's almost like some kind of like a cork type material, I guess. And I don't I don't want it to like I don't know if I'm going to get like air bubbles coming out of it. So I just kind of want to cover it. I want to make sure that whatever they use to make the colors and stuff on here doesn't leak and absorb the resin or just the color just goes away like sometimes the resin can do to certain things. So I'm going to seal it really well and then I'm just going to set it off to the side. I am going to end up letting this dry overnight. It's not going to take that long, but that's how long I'm going to let it go for because I've got other stuff to do. And then we are going to move on to these little umbrellas. Now, I did cut off a big portion of the stick that was on there because I don't need it. And what I want to do is I want to seal them. So I they're like really thin kind of paper type stuff. Mod Podge wasn't necessarily the way to go. I kind of want to get the resin inside of these umbrellas if I can to make it so that when I pour the resin over later on, I'm not going to have to worry about air bubbles coming out from inside of it. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my Nick Pro. No, this is Lightwish. I'm going to use Lightwish UV resin and I am just going to cover these completely, completely in this resin and then pop them under my light for five minutes on each side like front and back just to let them dry and whatever like i mean they don't have to be like crazy seriously like 100 percent cured it's not going to matter because it's going in normal resin but i do want to make sure that everything that you know i'm not going to have an issue with bubbles later on that's my main worry so i figured i'd just use the mold to put them on because why not and that's what we're gonna do so we'll be back after these are cured okay now it's time for my first layer so basically what I'm gonna do is I've just got a little bit of resin mixed up I'm adding a tiny bit of that marabou 
rainbow alcohol ink just for a little bit of sparkle and I really just want kind of around the edges of the mold done and a very 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 super thin coat on that bottom part of it but first I'm going to dip these guys in resin again I'm trying to eliminate any possibility of any air bubbles getting stuck so I figure if they're covered then hopefully I shouldn't have an issue and then I'm just gonna kind of pop them in wherever I feel like it now I don't know why I thought I was gonna get something that solid and straight and unbendy into a oval ish type thing I don't know what my brain was thinking it didn't happen so we kind of had to alter it and we're just gonna put three on each side instead of all the way around like I initially wanted to and I did have an issue with two of them because one I had made the mistake of opening up the red one and then trying to close it again and then when I cured it with the UV resin it closed up bigger than what it should have been completely completely closed so it didn't fit in this mold the right way and it kept kind of popping out and then the green one on the same side wanted to be stupid too and kept pushing out because of the way the resin cured on it so I ended up just taking another red one clipping off the edge of it or the bottom part of that stick dipping it in the resin and crossing my fingers and hoping for the best that I wasn't going to have an issue with it. I'd have done the same thing with the green, only that was the only green that I had in the pack, unless I lost one. And I really just didn't want doubles of any color. I wanted one of each. So we're going to hope that I can get this to stay down. Now I'm just kind of slowly going all the way around the edge with this resin to let it kind of seep everywhere. And then a little bit over the top. And... I want to get those two little drinks in on this level. Now, the reason being is because there's still going to be two more layers that go on after this. So I want them to be in here, be cured. I want to be able to see them because my next layer has to be that wallpaper. And then we need a backing layer for that to kind of hide the back of the wallpaper. So I am going over with my silicone tool and just kind of spreading out the resin all over the place. I do go in and try and get in between where the little umbrellas are and kind of pop out any bubbles that I can. And then I continuously have to fight with that stupid green umbrella because it wants to keep popping out and it just doesn't want to stay down. So it's becoming the bane of my existence right now. And yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep fighting with it, but it'll be fine. Hopefully, hopefully. But I am going to go around all the 90 degree, you know, edges and corners and well, it's an oval, there's no corners, but you know what I mean, just to kind of prevent any bubbles from sticking there. And then we might hit it with a heat gun. I'm really not sure. Yeah, I see a heat gun in my future. So as soon as I'm done fiddling with this stupid green umbrella, I'm going to hit it with a heat gun real quick. And then we're going to get ready to put these two drinks on here. All right, so the heat gun part is coming up, I promise. Eventually, someday, maybe. Stop playing with the stupid green umbrella. There we go. Hitting it with the heat gun real quick. And then what I'm going to do is, and this is again to kind of help prevent any bubbles from getting in between the layer of resin and those little drink things. Oh my God, stop playing with the umbrellas, woman. Stop it. Okay, as I was saying, I'm going to take the resin and I'm just going to kind of smooth it over the top of each of these. And I'm hoping that by doing this and just having a coat on there that once I place them down, hopefully, maybe I shouldn't get any air bubbles under there. Hopefully. We'll see. Now, I did not seal the back of these with the Mod Podge because in the end... At, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's not going to make a difference. You're not going to see them. So even if for some reason I did get an air bubble there, it's going to be covered by all kinds of other stuff. So it's not really going to matter. But I am, just because I'm me, I'm just going to go over it with resin anyway. Just because I can. So that's what I'm going to do. And 
I'm going to keep fooling with that damn umbrella and just not never stop, like, ever. But we're just going to smooth it over here real quick, and then I'm going to lift it up. I cut it out of the video, and let me tell you, I was scared of lifting it up because the last time I looked at, I lifted up something to try and make sure that I didn't have any air bubbles under it, I dumped resin down my shirt. So I, that was a little scary for me. But here we are 24 hours later. This is all cured. Now what I want to do is around the edges, because I put that clear layer, I kind of can't just go with green glitter in resin around there because now it'll spill into the actual middle of it because it's pretty level. So I'm just going to take some of my gloss varnish and a little bit of this green glitter and I'm going to do two things with it. I'm going to kind of highlight some of the darker spots on the wallpaper just to kind of give it a little extra something something and make it stand out. And then I'm also going to go around the edging of this tray just because why not? And this way, if my cutting skills aren't the greatest, which they're not, and, you know, it's fine, it, it'll kind of hide that a little bit. So you won't necessarily see that I can't cut straight. But I'm just taking my silicone tool right now and just on these dark spots of the leaves, I'm just going over with this dark green glitter. Now, my initial plan was... I have a lighter green as well, and I thought about kind of hitting some of the leaves with the lighter green, but I might have sort of maybe forgot, so I didn't do that part, but it'll be okay. We're, we're just going to do this real quick, and then get it to go around the outside, and then I'm going to let this dry for a good couple of hours. Because I'm laying it on thick, like the gloss varnish itself doesn't necessarily take a long time to dry. In thin layers but I am kind of making it so that it's opaque and you can't see through it with the glitter and I just want to make sure that it's completely completely dry and I don't have any issues now the one thing that I have found in doing this technique with um, in other projects is if you're going around edges make sure that you leave just the tiniest bit of space on like the outer edge closest to the mold Otherwise, you're going to get this weird kind of glittery line in between, and you could have an issue with the resin not sticking there or air bubbles. So if you leave just, just the slightest little bit of just clear resin or whatever, just resin on the outside of that mold, then you shouldn't have an issue with it. And as long as the resin's touching the resin and there's not that layer of glitter in between, you shouldn't have any issues with big craters and, and stuff like that. I have learned that the hard way. So now we're just going to fool with that damn umbrella again. And now this time I, I'm just going to kind of sort of cut away at part of it because it's really annoying me and it's poking up and uneven and just being dumb. So if I left it in there like that, then my wallpaper is going to be super crazy, uneven, and I mean, it's still going to probably be somewhat uneven because I can't get in there and do it all and I don't want to break the seal between the resin and the, the mold. But I did cut away a good bit of it and it, it's just going to have to do. And hopefully that'll be the last time I ever have to talk about that stupid umbrella for the rest of this video. Okay, it's been several hours now. This is all nice and dry. Now I'm just going in with the tiniest bit again of clear resin. And I'm going to kind of smooth it over top of that glitter. Be careful if you're doing this. You don't want to knock it loose and have it, you know, come out in chunks and whatever because you can just pull it off of it like it, it it can happen but we're gonna smooth it over these little drink things and just get it all ready for this wallpaper to go down now I have not taken the backing of this wallpaper off yet and I was kind of in two minds about whether I should do it or not in the end I'm going to but it's gonna be like the last thing that I do because I figured it's sticky and it's gonna be a pain in the ass to deal with but it just has to be done because without with leaving that paper on there, like it's just going to make it too chunky and, 
and dumb and I just don't want to deal with it. And I feel like I can have more movement and kind of get that wallpaper to do what I want it to do once I take that backing off. But first, I need to finish fooling around with this and getting it, the resin all smoothed out and ready to go sometime today, please. Thank you. And then we're going to fool around some more. And I guess, oh, there was a couple air bubbles that were in the layer before. So I'm just making sure that resin got down deep inside of them. I thought I was playing with that umbrella again. I was going to get so upset with myself. Okay. Are we done now? Yes. Thank you. All right. So now I'm taking some of this resin that I had kind of off to the side and I'm going to smooth it over top of the wallpaper. This is just like I did with those other two pieces just to kind of help eliminate the possibility of bubbles because if it's resin on resin, we shouldn't have any issues and it should hopefully just go down perfectly and not give me any problems whatsoever, she says. Right? Right. So nice, not super thick, but a nice good layer of resin, making sure that it is covering every bit of this wallpaper all the way around. And then whenever I get done fooling with this, we're going to figure out which way it's going in and we're going to be smart about it and think about what way the leaves are facing, what way the drinks are facing, and we're going to do it right. She almost did wrong so that it's not upside down. All right. But first we're going to hit it with a heat gun and just pop any bubbles from me fiddling around and all of that fun stuff. And then we're going to get this in here. Now, it did, after I put it in here and I take the backing off of it, it did take me a, a little while to kind of make sure that it was all, like I worked with it for a good few minutes to make sure that I pushed out any possibility of any air bubble in there whatsoever so that I didn't have a problem. This was a tricky part though, and really, I mean, not really. It's just a matter of kind of pushing that resin kind of up over top of it and then just smoothing it over there and then you get rid of like all that stickiness and you don't have to worry about it sticking to everything. So it kind of worked out in the end doing it this way. And that's kind of all I'm doing right now is just kind of moving the resin around just to make it so it's not sticky anymore. And then we're going to work it. And we're just going to kind of push it around. Now, I do have to cut a little piece off because, I, like I said, I can't cut for anything. So we're going to get that cut off and out of the way so that this will go down nice and flat and no issues. See, this is why I put in that glitter. Because do you see how wonky those lines are? Like, look at that. You won't be able to see it now. Hopefully. You shouldn't be able to see it now because it should be covered. So that's why I did that. Anyway, back to the task at hand. I'm just going to smooth it out. And I am going to kind of sort of lift it up and check ever so carefully as to not spill resin all over myself again. And make sure that if I see any air bubbles underneath, I am working them out. And I, I, it's really it's several minutes of doing this stupid stuff. I hit it with a heat gun. When I was editing this, I don't know why I hit it with a heat gun, really. Like, there's hardly any resin on that at all. Like, it's wet, and that's about it. Okay, so now for the backing piece. I tried to pick a green that kind of went with the colors that are in there. I don't really have anything. These two different turquoises, which are slightly different in shade, were, like, the closest that I had, but not really. So we're just going to mix them and... Nothing is going to change in it, but we're going to pretend like it does and kind of just make it as close as we can. Now, the only reason that it really matters, I mean, it, you could put whatever color you want it to back there, but my backing is green, so the wallpaper is green, so it kind of makes sense. But I just want to hide this paper. So whatever color I chose to put back there, if I chose to put a different color, I just want to make sure that it's completely 100% opaque. That you're not going to be able to see through it at all because then if you can, that's going to look really stupid. I'm trying to match it up with the color. I decided that a little blue might help. It, it doesn't. 
at all. But we're just going to pretend that it made a difference and go with it. So we're going to mix this up and then we're going to throw it down on here. I am going to, after I'm done making sure that, please tell me I don't add anything else to it. What am I doing? Okay. Scared myself for a second there. <laughs> so we're just going to dump this on here and fill this mold up the rest of the way. Now, hopefully this is, it's going to turn out right, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. And then I'm just going to take my silicone tool and I'm going to go around all of the, I guess I'm going to take a dotting tool, not a silicone tool. Why would I do anything that I say I'm going to do? I'll do something completely different. But it's fine. And I am kind of going all over the place because, you know, why not? And then we're going to hit it with the heat gun and that's it. We're going to let this dry. Keep our fingers crossed that everything works out and I didn't miss anything. Okay, so 24 hours later, here we go. Now I am going to have an edge on this because it could have used probably another half ounce of resin, but I wasn't bothered to worry about making it. And we're going to see how this turns out and hopefully, hopefully it turns out fine. Let's see. And here we go. So I think it's kind of cute. Now I do have two air bubbles in that lemonade drink, whatever. The umbrellas look okay. That damn green one looks stupid because it's crooked and I don't know what else to do about it. But there are two kind of air holes, like pretty big ones. Well, one big one, one small one in that lemonade drink thing that we're going to have to fix. Now, you can go about this two different ways, and I'm going to tell you about them as I use my burning tool and just kind of get off these sharp edges. You can get your UV resin, and you can do it that way and just fill up those little holes and cure it, and it's fine. Uh, personally, I prefer just doing a top coat of actually two-part. I feel like it covers those holes better and hides them more. However... For time's sake today, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the UV resin route and we're just going to do it like that. But I do prefer the two part because I feel like it hides the holes better. Now with everything going on, you're not going to really be able to see it too much unless you know it's there and you're looking for it. You can also, like if you wanted to and if I had the time to do it I kind of thought it would be cute to get my cricket out and put some kind of saying or something like that on there and you could go that route too I, I just I honestly time's sake I'm running out of time this week because that's the story of my life so we're just gonna take a little bit of UV resin and I'm just gonna get my dotting tool and I'm gonna kind of just go in there and I am gonna do this in a couple parts just to make sure that I get it as flush as possible and I don't have the issue with it going overboard. And then I'm going to clean around the edges just to make sure that it's not going over top of that little hole. And then I'm just going to cure it for a couple minutes underneath my torch and that's it. Super simple, very fast to do, like it, it doesn't really take any time at all. And, and then we're going to be done with this, and that's pretty much it. So, as I finish this up, that's pretty much a wrap on this one, guys. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I will catch you guys on Saturday in the next one. It's pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be my first Tumblr, so check it out, and we'll see if I can make it work. Anyway, I will see you guys then. Love ya. Bye.